I'm Jim from the Volunteer Master Gardeners here at the Brown County Extension, and I have some Master Gardener volunteers with me today to answer some questions about a problem we're having out here called the squash vine borer. Monica is here with us today. Monica, what is this squash vine borer? It is a pest of both squash and pumpkin. It's a day-flying, clear-winged moth that resembles a um, um, wasp. And uh, it's like a uh, one and a quarter inch to one and a half inches long with a rusty orange uh, body and black stripes around the abdomen. Um, the borer is uh, white and wrinkly and uh, has a brown um, helmet. Head. And uh, the larvae are one and a half to two inches long. Very good. Thank you. Our sample of the base of the squash plant, and uh, we cut it open and open it up, and here is the squash vine borer. That's what it looks like. Master Gardener with us, Julie. Julie, what are the symptoms and effects of this squash vine borer? Okay. The borer, you'll first notice a wilt midday. Uh, the squash vine borer is there, and that's usually later in the season, July and August. Uh, it can either go affect the main stem or it can go into the runners only. To know where it is, uh, you can find a hole at the bottom of the stem and a little dust or whatever you want to call it, which is the exit of the bore. Uh, when looking for the squash bore, you can follow the stem from the ground and go up and when you see these exits of the larva, uh, then you know for sure that that's a problem that you have. Uh, there's, once it starts wilting, there really isn't anything more that you can do to save the plant. Uh, by that time, the larva is already into the stems. It can be confused with the wilt um, but by looking for the home stem, you can identify that it is a bore that's causing the problem. Thank you, Julie. Master Gardener here, volunteer Master Gardener, Tim. Um, Tim, what is the life cycle of this squash bore? Well, the, the life cycle um, starts with the um, larvae overwintering uh, in the soil. Uh, and when they, they emerge as moths, when about 900 degree days have been reached, and at that point in time, they find a convenient squash vine or pumpkin vine and lay eggs at the base of the, the vine. Um, in about 14 days or so, uh, the eggs hatch, and then the, the pupa burrow into the vine uh, where they stay uh, for two to three weeks, and then they emerge from the, the vine and as, uh, as adults again, the cycle starts all over again. Um, I think the, the good news is, is that there's only one generation per year of, of the, the squash vine borer. So if you can get your treatment during the active lakes uh, main uh, season, um, you can control the best. All right. Thank you, Tim. This portion of a vine from a, a squash plant provides an excellent example of the damage that can be caused by the squash vine borer. You'll see that here near the top of this segment is where the, the vine borer entered the plant. And then it burrowed all the way down through the plant near the base of the plant. And you can also see throughout the burrow little ex pieces of excrement that come out of the vine um, as the vine borer is eating the inside of the plant. And then if you look real closely, you can see at least we thought, you can see the wine vine borer right here near the base of the plant. Volunteer Master Gardener with us is Sandy. Sandy, how do you control this squash vine borer? Well, Tim, actually gardeners should start by mid-June to late July or when 900 degree days have accumulated. They should start monitoring their plants. They should be checking to see if there are any of the adult moths or be looking at the base of the plant to see if any of the small brown eggs are showing up there. It will take uh, 
two to three insecticide applications five to seven days apart during that three week egg laying season. And this will help to control the larval wars before they get into the vines. The University Extension has a publication called Commercial Vegetable Production in Wisconsin, and it has products that are commonly used to control the vine borer. Um, the most important thing is once the presence of the squash vine borer is actually confirmed, their treatment needs to start because once the larval, the larvae get into the vine, then there is little that can be done to control the pest.